Okay, I'm a cat guy. I'm a cat guy. I'm a hat. I'm a hat. I'm a guy. I'm a cat guy. I'm a cat guy. I'm a hat. Lani, mabait ako ating. Lani, 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 Lani. Parang madali at ay lesson yung ayon na. Run. Actions? Tani niya? I'm the leader. I'm the leader. So hindi. Hindi mo basta't nag add ang numerators kapag dissimilar fractions. So, kailangan gumamit ka ng method. So, may mas madaling method na pwede natin gamitin. Iba ito doon sa similar fractions. So, para makuha natin yung sum or difference. Well, confident na ako dyan ngayon. So, mabuti pa. Panoorin na lang natin ang match tutorial ng Teacher M para mas may paluwanag ito sa'yo ng maayos. Teacher M, bacon man. Hello, mga kabibs. It's me, Teacher M, and welcome to my channel. Sa ilang taon kung pagtuturo sa grade seven ay napansin ko na ito yung madalas na pinagkakamilian at pinagkakalitohan ng mga bata pagdating sa pagsolve ng fractions. Kaya sa mahal yung ako muli para sa isang lamang match tutorial. Let's begin. Dissimilar fractions. So, ito yung mga halimbawa ng dissimilar fractions. Kaya sinabing dissimilar, hindi magkakapareho ang denominators. So, iba yung paraan ng pagsusolve sa similar fractions sa pagsusolve, pag-add, or subtract ng dissimilar fractions. Okay, number one question. 3 over 5 plus 1 over 4. So, using the butterfly method, paro-paro, kailagay natin sa butterfly. First step, multiply 3 by 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. And then, yung kabila naman, 5 times 1 equals 5. So, napansin nyo, nagmukhang pakpak ng paro-paro yung ating format. Kaya tinawag itong butterfly. Yeah! Pakuha na natin yung sagot or product dun sa pinag-multiply natin numbers. Ngayon naman, ia-add natin yung nakuha natin. So, 12. Then, operation is addition. So, ilalagay lang natin yung plus. And then, yung 5. Yung sagot sa pangalawa. So, 12 plus 5. Then, sa denominator, ipagmumultiply lang natin yung denominator ng given fractions. So, yung 5 at 4. So, naging hugis na siya ng katawan ng butterfly. 5 times 4 equals 20. And 12 plus 5 is 17. Diba? So, 17 over 20. Ilolowest term natin. So, ano yung GCF ng 17 and 20? Meron ba tong common factor? Okay, so wala. Kaya, ito na yung magiging nating final answer. Next example. Ang given na ipag-aad, mix naman. May kasamang whole numbers. So, paano nga naman kukunin yung sum? Okay. So, ganun muna. I-change natin into improper fraction yung mix number. By, okay, multiply. The whole number by the denominator. 7 times 5 is 35 plus 2. Then, copy the denominator. 35 plus 2 equals 37. 37 over 5 is the improper fraction. Plus, yun ulit, 3 times 10 is 30 plus 3 over 5. 10. So, 33 over 10 will be the, the improper fraction. 
So ngayon, nakuha na natin yung improper fractions. We will now use the butterfly method. So that lang natin. 37 over 5 plus 33 over 10. Then ganun ulit. 37 times 10 equals 370. And then 5 times 33 equals 165. So, ipag-a-add na natin yung nakuha natin sagot. 370 plus 165 over 5 times 10 equals 50. So, simplify natin. Simplify. 370 plus 165 is 535 and 50. 535 over 50. And simplify. Ano ang possible GCF? So, pwede natin itong i-reduce by dividing it by 5 over 5. So, ang GCF ay 5. 535 divided by 5 is 107, and 50 divided by 5 is 10. So, we have 107 over 10. Reduce natin, pero ang sagot ay improper fraction. So, pwede natin itong isulat in mixed number. So, ilang 10 meron sa 107. So, 10 times 10 is 100. So, meron pang sobrang 7. And 7 will be the numerator and 10 yung magiging denominator. So, kukopyahin lang natin. So, meron pa tayong ibang paraan. Pwede nyo gawin to. So, first, proceed to whole numbers. Diba? So, 7 plus 3 equals 10. So, meron na tayong 10. Automatic. Ngayon, saka tayo pupunta dun sa fraction. I-apply natin using the butterfly method pa rin. So, napansin nyo, pag inuna natin yung whole numbers, then saka lang natin isinunod yung fractions, mas maliit yung mga numbers. So, yun. Proceed to butterfly method. Yun pa rin. 2 times 10 equals 20. 5 times 3 equals 15. Then, ipag add yung naging sagot. 20 plus 15 is 35. Then, proceed now to the denominators. 5 times 10 equals 50. So, nakuha natin sagot is 35 over 50. And, hindi pa to simplified. Kaya, we need to get the GCF. We need to get its lowest term by dividing it by 5 over 5. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. And, 50 divided by 5 equals 10. Pero, huwag niyong kalilimutan i-add yung sagot niyo dun sa naunang sagot na 10. 10 plus 7 over 10 is 10 and 7 over 10. So, pareho lang ng naging sagot. So, saan kayo mas nadalian? Paano naman kung subtraction? Sige. So, 2 over 3 minus 2 over 5. Dissimilar fraction pa rin ba kapag pareho ng numerator, magkaiba lang ang denominator? Yes. So, kapag magkapareho ng numerator, magkaiba ng denominator, dissimilar pa din yun. Wala pa rin nabago. So, yun pa din. Apply natin ang butterfly method. 2 times 5 equals 10. 3 times 2 equals 6. And then, dahil subtraction yung operation, pagma-minus na natin. 10 minus 6. Sige, 10 minus 6 and then multiply natin yung 3 by 5 equals 15. 10 minus 6 equals 4. Walang common factor ang 4 and 15. 4 over 15 will be the final answer. Paano naman kapag may kasama ng mixed number? And we need to change the mixed number into improper fraction. Ganun ulit. Multiply lang natin. 8 times 3 is 24. Then, add natin yung 2. Then, copy the denominator. So, 24 plus 2 equals 26 divided by 3. 
or 26 over 3. Then, copy lang natin yung second given fraction. Then, proceed to butterfly method. 26 over 3 minus 3 over 4. 26 times 4, 104. 3 times 3 equals 9. Pag may minus na lang natin yung 104 dun sa 9, the difference will be 95. 3 times 4 equals 12. So, we have 95 over 12. It is in improper fraction. We can write it in mixed number. Ilang 12 meron sa 95. Sige, ipapakita ko dito kung paano natin kinukuha yun. So, 95 divided by 12. Yan. So, ilang 12 meron sa 95? 7. Because 7 times 12 is 84. So, subtract natin yung 95 sa 84. The answer is 11. So, 11 yung sumobra. That's why 8 and 2 over 3 minus 3 over 4 the answer is 7 and 11 over 12. So, yun. Nakita nyo na kung paano nag add and subtract ng dissimilar fractions. So, okay naman. Uh, kapag pala dissimilar fractions, hindi basta pinag add or subtract ang numerators. Lalo na ang denominators. Kailangan pala gumamit tayo ng butterfly method. Ah, ganun pala yun. Thank you po, Teacher M. Nalike ko na po, nasubscribe ko na, at naklik ko na rin po ang bell button. Mga classmates, kayo din, isubscribe niyo na si Teacher M. Okay. So, maraming maraming salamat sa pagsubaybay. Sana nagustuhan nyo yung video na to. Kung nagustuhan nyo, huwag kalilimutang mag-iwan ng bakas, like, and comment. At kung bago lang kayo sa channel ko, huwag kalilimutang isubscribe and i-click ang bell button para lagi kang updated sa mga in-upload kong videos. So, thank you, thank you for watching! Hanggang sa muli! Till my next video! Bye!